for rescuing me. Of course. We shall speak soon. I understand your perspective, but maybe consult the villagers that are being harassed and extorted. Just a thought. What a bureaucratic nightmare this is. Lovely. So, we have, to this point, done a lot to upset the Ashwinders. Um, I feel as though we should maybe do, well, I was going to say do something less dangerous in the fact of saving, preserving, keeping safe a bunch of potential snidgets. And with Poppy, that's likely not to be any less safe. And then, this. I still need to put... Uh, speak with Professor Fig about getting into the Headmaster's office. And... Yes. I'm not... Quite... Um... Keen on that one. Because I do not know... How. I feel that transfiguration is quite out of the question. Seems like an awfully difficult thing to do. Oh, hello. If you ask me, let's be careful. There we go. Am I? I am. Lovely. Outside of Hogsmeade, enough that I can get on my broom so I can go travel to the Forbidden Forest. Which is fraught with its own perils. But, I guess, dark magical creatures are less of a problem than a bunch of angry dark wizards. At least the creatures can't s cast a killing curse at you. Alright. Hello, Poppy. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Um, what's going on? Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I see. Um, I get the even feeling that they probably won't be too keen at first, so we'll have to plead our case quite well. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if um, we want to I don't to disagree. I don't Perhaps disagree. They'll be able don't get me wrong. Tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Um, I mean, they are known for being quite perceptive and wise, based on my understanding and research on them. Limited, it may be. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just never mind. No worries. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... We've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of um, course. You're it's a bit absolutely optimistic. right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- <laughs> They're here! They don't seem too pleased. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. 
From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sigits are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. Nor do so I. The moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do um, moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Um, I thought moonstone was fairly common. This must be some special one. Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely yes. know it when we see it. Well, well, he was cryptic. He, well, cryptic to a point. He did tell us more or less specifically where to go and where to place the moonstone once we uh, possess it. He seemed trustworthy enough and he did protect us. I'm willing to give it a try if you are. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is well, not a shame because he's how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran? Yes. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. Very well. I'll let you know what I find. Ah. Okay. I suppose then that would leave me to deal with Professor Fig. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I worry just a bit about what that might entail. I'm going to be honest, I don't like the look of that ominous looking cave. But there's a flu spot. Oh, Jackdaw's tomb. Does not change my feelings. Hello. We need to get to Hogwarts. Most specifically, the charms classroom ought to do. Huff, puff. Um. Okay. Yes, charms classroom. Alrighty, I believe he was down a floor or two. Yes, he's this way. It's rather late, but I hope that doesn't bother him. Um, maybe he just stepped out? Oh, Professor. There you are. It's, um... Hello. Now here's... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the Goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. Yes. And, sir... There's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. 
That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Mm, yes, Believe about it that. Not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Oh. Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Fair. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okay. Oh, you... How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Uh, yes, the Headmaster's house elf scrope. Madam Kogawa, where are you? Um, apparently this way. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to um, catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. Lovely. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Pick your least favorite. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. 
Yes. Well, there's one for my diary. This is rather weird, I must say. Right. Um. Oh, there's the door hidden behind a bunch of Christmas stuff. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Maybe? Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. Maybe I should not harass them Professor, too much. A word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Um, you do, do what you feel is, um, uh, best. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Lovely. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Children. Children, children, children. Always chewing things, being naughty and... Making messes. Alright, I'm going the right way. I think so. No. I'm a <sighs> Don't don't mind me. Hello. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor. This is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something well, seems a little off with the headmaster. No, nothing at all. Nothing is off with me. I am perfectly normal. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. Get back to class. Do school things. Ah. Professor, I need to oh. speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. And I don't miss him. I realize that. 
and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. Nor shall I. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Ah, crap. Um, yes. Make sure you clean up after yourselves, children. Scroop. Hard a oh. worker as any house elf. Scroop. Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. Well, I've changed my mind. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Yes, uh, purity of blood, if I recall. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pure. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh, ahem. Uh, the Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh, over here. Oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Perhaps I should be more concerned why Professor Fig happens to have a polyjuice potion brewed and hair or some other substance to transform into him into Professor Black that is it's a little bit unsettling uh, very well now off to the headmaster's office Wonder. <laughs> Gryffindor is doing pretty well, right? I don't feel that these are accurate. I believe the headmaster's quarters office is up on an upper floor, so I must go up. Do 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 do, do. Yes. I think. Oh, there. Oop, pardon. Uh, rather far up, if I recall. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
we are almost there. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. I forget how many stairs are in this bloody place. I use flu powder so frequently. It's just much more convenient that way. Rather than all this running around up and down the stairs. Uh, right, right. This... This way and up further still. Oh, right, 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 right. I was exploring and I found this the... Well, this is months ago. And thankfully I haven't had to, well, come up here for any reason. Until now. It's going to be rather awkward. If I am not quick enough. I do feel... The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Yes, indeed. Toujours pure. More spiral staircases. Lovely. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Probably. Right. Revelio. What have we here? Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. I don't blame them. Nope, I cannot get in there, nor there. Basket weave black. Oh, I think that was a wand handle. Aha, the sorting hat. It's good to see you. Hello. Well, thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. Uh, what will I find in there? What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Okay. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Perfect. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Yes. Apothecary receipt. Cure for boils. One vial. I shall hold on to that. Revelio. Receipt. Hair tonic. Mustache wax. Bundium pomade. Comb. Pearl handled. Back scratcher. Gold handled. Doxy side. Paid in very small part. Remainder to be billed to ministry. What? An individual. What? Okay. Right, we have pressing concerns and matters to attend to. That must be the pedestal. Oh, hello. It is indeed a book. Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. Okay. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. Very well. The first you will need is a cloak. Right. Um, I don't have a wand. Very well. And there's nothing in this area for me, so I must... I in suppose... In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Um... Okay. 
Okay. Oh. That's... Unsettling. Ooh, that is greatly unsettling. Just what I wanted. I cannot, no, I cannot. Mm, okay. Oh, I see. Um, can I just be quick? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, boy, that was stressful. Oh, I should have run when I could. I'd be free by oh, now. I'm... Mm, I don't like this. Let's move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Yes. This is... Right. I don't... I need to time this just right. I hate this. Okay. Okay. So that one goes that way. You turn. You go... No, 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 no. Don't mind me. I see. A staircase straight ahead. What? Okay, this way, I suppose. Whew. That was death. That is incredibly unsettling. Go away. Um, okay. wasn't prepared for this ladder perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there um, I'm in a bad spot and I need to move oh boy okay deep breaths deep breaths remain calm this is my chance I'm coming Neve Oh, crap. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yes, yes I must. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Okay. That's where I need to oh. go, but I need to find a way past... Oh, crap, crap, crap. No! <laughs> right. Let's reassess that. I was a bit... They're gone. For now. Hasty. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Luckily, Too it's magic. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Right. Now I know that they are... That's where I need to go, but... I need I to find a way past them. I wasn't paying close enough attention, and I decided to move exactly when that reaper turned my way. Which was unfortunate. Now I should be fine. Alright, turn away. Yes, 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 yes. Don't look at me. I am not actually here. Um, yes, I'm going to... Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. Can I... I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh. That's handy. Close tight. No way up forward, I suppose. Ooh, what's this? Oh, Wiganweld. 
Well, I certainly hope I don't have to duel these agents of death. Especially without a wand. Hmm. Okay, that was... Oh. God. No, 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 no. I need to be very careful. I don't know how I'm going to get through there. It is a massive, massive problem. How's my chance? I guess they are very unobservant. Oh. Thank goodness. Their perceptive capabilities are minimal. That's the way forward. Okay. Let's just be quick about this. Okay, put it on. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Lovely. All the better. So we go. Well, that's blocked. So I more than likely go this way. Oh, crap. Or not. Maybe I do go this way. Or... Um, okay. There's a bunch of them. And it's indicating I need to go that way. Um, okay, do I... They don't seem to be reacting to me. Maybe if I don't touch them, they can't see me with this new cloak? They can't see me at all. Oh. I can get closer to them. Okay, let's just keep as much distance as possible from them. Not let them touch me. Or I touch them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Oh boy. Now where are you, Neve? Um... Okay. Now what? You have outrun death thus far, well. but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh, lovely. Wield the wand you see before you. Oh. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Okay. What is so special about this wand? Um, I'm getting an inkling here that I... I've never felt such power. Yes. I have an inkling. I know what is going on. Or at least... Depulsa. What the story that they're having me go through is about. Descender. No. Okay. Apparently that is not the way. Nor does it seem is that way. I'm a smidgen bit lost. Revelio. Okay. Maybe be Defender Bombarda oh. Bombarda does make sense I'm just being silly I'm a bit stressed The mind is a bit over burned taxed as it were given the whole, um, trying to hide and run away from the Grim Reaper, it would seem. And his little minions. Case in point. Go eight way. Go. Oh, wait. Ow. 
Bastard. Descendo. Um, okay. Could have been worse. They didn't touch me, which is a good thing. If I feel like they touch you, you just like kind of instantly die or have to reset in the point of the story? I don't know. They creep me out, that's all I know. Ow, you bloody thing. Go away. Yes, you don't like the wand. I'm enjoying it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are close. You are rude. Go away. And you are not a problem anymore. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There are still problems of plenty. Defender. There. Ah, you are incredibly rude. Don't attack Defender. people like that. And there. Ow. Bombarder. And you. Defender. You are no more. Lovely. Now, my prediction, once I complete this trial, well, this portion of this trial, the trial within the trial, as it were, is that the next one has to do with a stone of some sort. Don't know how that will interplay, but... a pretty good idea that it will indeed have some sort of bearing on them. Present events. Um. Oh, you are... Ah, you bloody things. Oh, you are trying so hard. Defender. Descender. Yes. Yes, there we go. Descender. Go away. Um, I may have been a little bit. Defender. Ow. You are an irritating creature. Defender. Yeah. And was a massive shortwave. Defender. 
Get away. I think that these things just keep appearing, regardless of how many I defeat. I must focus on the trill. I think. You are hit. Oh, wait. Yes. Uh, come on. Come on. You are no match for me. And finish that off. Oh, or not. Oh, bloody hell. You are not very friendly, are you? Okay. You need to back up. Get the weight from me. Keep him. I guess busy, occupied. And I can use a little ancient magic. Oh, sneaky. If I roll away. There we go. Defender, descender. Oh, you go away. Um, this particular troll is quite irritating. Another ancient magic burst. Chip away at the health. Ow. That was rude, double teaming that way. Oh, hello. I see your game. Ow, ow. Defender, Ow. No, 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 and I will beat you. Oh, I dodge, and then I protect. There. Oh, Ooh, that was a that was a different one. And that should do it. Ooh, boy. You are a tricksy one, death. And apparently, that was not sufficient enough. Of course it wasn't. Yes, I thought as much. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I want Descender. you and you. Defender. Go away, dog. Stupid. Um, get away, get away, get away. Create distance. Uh. Yes, yes, yes. No, nope, I missed him. I don't think I'm getting through this that quickly. There we go. 
go. Yes. Bloody hell. These things are irritating me too. You miss, and then I protect, and then I hit you back. Oh, come on. This is not what I wanted to do. Uh. Irritating things. Um. I think one of the trolls is gone, though. So is that. This is... Kind of dual. Come on. Ancient magic on the troll! There we go. There we go. Um... I... Misread that attack. Quite poor. Miss and Oh, you were close. Defender. Go away. Alright. Ow, 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 ow. I am out of Wigan Weld. This is not good. You are missing me. I wanted to hit the troll, not you. Get oh wait. Defender. Collect the ancient magic orbs. Yes. Uh, you are irritating as all hell. Defender, bombarder, depulsor, descender. Oh, finally. I think. Hopefully, no. Defender. Oh boy, that was that was tricky, to say the least. All right. Mostly because they just, even though I have a powerful wand, it just took him forever to chip down. It was absurd. Ah, oh, very well. Well, that's part two done. I have a feeling there's a third. This is the stone. Mm -hmm. This must be for me. I, my hunch was correct. Yes, it was. But how? I don't quite get the. Alright. Like, I think I know what Neve is getting at. Death is. natural? I don't know. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Lovely. Um, it is precisely what I like to see. I can't I'm just believe she's dead. Um, I'm going to keep. Dear sweet Neve, dead. Okay. Oh, poor Neve. <laughs> Neve, why? We won't be the same without her. I'm. Oh, hello there. May her memory be you are an unsettling forever. thing. But... 
part of me that... Oh... Hmm, yes. This doesn't seem like a good idea. You found me. Oh. But you cannot undo what has been done. No, no I cannot. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Right. And... I understand that. Oh, here we go. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. That is accurate. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Mm, okay. So we are about to enter Remember your pensive. Remember that as you witness my memory. Yes. I'm very intrigued now. This was very... Hmm. Let's see. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only oh, have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. I'm a bit at a loss. I think it best that I return to the chamber and talk with Neve, Professor Fitzgerald. Um, oh, hello, Professor Fig. I see you've made it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. Um... That was incredibly disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, 
What you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. Understandable. I shall time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard yes. what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. Yes. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, yes. she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. My guess. There's yes. something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. Yes. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Oh. Um... On a lighter note, Professor Black has boils. And I may or may not have sent a student to deliver the potion to cure them. I do not envy whoever is tasked for that. My luck, it'll be me.